forgot about the reconnect. So for those on YouTube who are watching this on release, uh, the next stream will be uh, tonight. <laughs> because uh, due to uh, that I have uh, a, a meeting on su uh, on Monday, I can't stream on Monday, so I'm doing a double uh, stream, so Saturday and Sunday. So, okay, let's see if we can find some wolves maybe here. We might be able to. But there's a good chance that there are some here. Uh, all right, that's the thing. Clear it already. Wolfie, 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 come here, come to Papa. I, I just want your uh, your pelt and your meat. You can keep your bones if you want to. Come on. I need food. Usually, I mean, it's like uh, I, I open a door and I get mauled by a bear. And now that I'm actively looking for something that put, could potentially kill me, it's like, mm, nah, not, not gonna fall for that. So it's like, yeah. That's the tricky thing with, uh, with animals. Okay. Hackberry. Oh, it's a dead tree. Okay. Um, can I take that? Yeah, okay. So, um, where are we? Okay, I went pretty far north. So let's get back in the direction of base because we need to get some food as well. And hopefully... Oh? Oh no, that's a jack. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to do anything to the donkey. In case we need it to uh, be a friend to Burrito. Um, where are the wolves when you need them? The moment I stop searching for 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 wolves and do something else, I get mauled by them. It's like they they smell that I'm not uh, actively looking for them. Yesterday was the uh, no Thursday uh, was the same that. Uh, I was not looking for a bear and they spawned constantly uh, along the route from where we were coming. <sighs> it is a mystery. So, um, okay, we are getting closer to base again. Uh, maybe I should make a bunny hole that uh, I can... Uh, attract bunnies and um, and chicken and stuff uh, with uh, with a trough just make a bunny hole and then uh, lure them into that hole then that way we could at least get some uh, small uh, small animals and uh, slaughter those even though it's reduced amount of uh, uh, meat in that moment, but it would be a stable income for for meat. So, oh, you don't. No, you don't have meat. Ah. 
Uh, no, I actually haven't seen any boars. Nothing. Uh, I've seen uh, two cows. Uh, um, so at least, so there's one bull, so one ox, and one uh, one cow somewhere in in this area. But uh, I lost track where they actually are. So not sure where they are hiding but i mean i will eventually once i really want to uh, look for them actively i will have to uh, check where they are running around i saw a few rams and a, a one or two ewes as well but uh, yeah I'm, i want to see if if I can get uh, milk from the cows or not, because I, I never had the cows in the game. And that would actually be interesting to see if with the, the cows, maybe we can just, we only have cows. Uh, I don't know, um, there's probably, there's a mob indicator, uh, but I didn't want to go too far with, uh, with that. So. I need to go back to base, otherwise I'm gonna freeze my butt off here. So, and I'm starving, so let me... Oh, oh okay. There's a meteorite here, okay. Um. Some rabbits fell into the pit. Okay, um, we got a little bit of meat, so we can uh, cook something with protein. healthy meal. and bobs I found. Some decoration. So, 
Okay, I should have everything sorted. That's almost done. And then uh, we can actually... How are we doing? Okay, our gear is fine. So. Uh, okay. We need uh, a stronger meal. This one is not enough to sustain us on our journey, so we need to find uh, animals which will give us some meat. Uh, so let's go out there and search for some animals. see if we can maybe find a bear yeah I mean it's still winter I mean uh, it's the 8th of January so um, uh, once it's uh, got, um, becoming spring then uh, things will change I mean you uh, you are under um, uh, in real life you are roughly on the same uh, I think latitude uh, not I think it's latitude. Um, to uh, so we should have uh, roughly around the same time uh, at our respective time zone, uh, a day uh, a sunrise and a sunset. So, but um, if you are going further north, like uh, for example, if you go to Canada or. Uh, uh, for us here in Europe, go to Sweden or something, then uh, uh, nights are very long in winter and uh, uh, very short in summer. A uh, friend of mine is currently uh, up at the northern uh, side of Germany, uh, close to the eastern sea, and uh, uh, she was yesterday talking to me and was like, yeah, so how, is the sun still up for you? I said, nope, uh, it's already down here. And she was like, yeah, it's still sunny here a bit. And I was like, yeah, that's... Uh, no, I did not. Uh, I actually slept through. <laughs> it was the one time where I actually uh, uh, would have been nice if I had stayed awake, then I would have been able to see them. But no, that was the one time I actually slept. So I missed that chance. Um, friends of mine in Berlin, they were able to see them. Yeah, it was uh, was at least something. And ah, one day, one day I will... Uh... Ah, come on. I thought it was a rabbit. Um, oh, I, 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 be, I, I believe you. I believe you. I mean, the, the, the Golden Gate Bridge is really nice uh, in sunset and everything. But yeah, it's been a while. I mean, last time I were I saw the Golden Gate Bridge was 2008. I think February, yeah, February 2008 was the last time I, I was in the United States. So, on. There has to be some animal here that I can uh, butcher. Come on. I want meat. Uh, yeah, the hibernating does actually not happen in the game. Uh, they, they, the animals just turn, uh, I think the bears, uh, depending on where you meet, encounter them, they actually uh, get white fur 
And same with the foxes. So if you uh, if you encounter a fox, uh, then it will uh, gradually uh, get a white coat. And I'm not gonna start swimming. Oh, oh, there, there is a potential. Hello, Mr. Moose. Come on. Yes. We're going to eat and we're going to eat good tonight. <laughs> Give me some meat here. Six meat, okay. Nice. Um, and yeah, we can't. Uh, this meat is is more nutritious. But for the same meat, we would need bunnies or cows or uh, boars. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the antlers, you can actually put the antlers on, on a wooden board and put them as a trophy in um, uh, in your house. And each, uh, each uh, species has their own antler set. Oh, there's a bowl. But, yeah. How far is this one away? Okay, uh, I would say I'm gonna kill this one. Ow! I didn't even touch you. There's another one. No, oh, I would say that is enough meat for now. is definitely going to be a good this is de definitely a good haul so let's go back to base start preparing some food and then we are going to the dungeon oh now I hear wolves now that I have meat oh hello uh, would you like to join my dinner So we get some large heights, which is nice. So now we just need to get back to base. Um, 
I'm not sure. I think they spawn random, like like all other mobs as well. Who? What do we have? No, that's a tree stump. I thought for a second that this is an animal. It's just a tree stump. Back at base, Gonna start cooking. So, yeah, probably the wolves are just around the corner somewhere. I mean, I heard them already. Maybe we passed them, but. With my luck, they, they smell the meat in my pocket and think about uh, taking it from me. <laughs> oh, bear, 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 bear. Seriously, I've been running around f uh, to find something, and now, yeah, now they're coming all after me. So, okay, what's next? Another bear or a pack of wolves? Not saying we are safe, because we aren't. We are still not at home. If I would dare say we are safe, then probably not. Definitely have to uh, tear down a few of the trees here uh, in the foreseeable future. It's a short fire, but it should be enough to heat up the room. <laughs> Let me drink something while we're waiting here for uh, for warming up. Brazier? I don't know. I don't think uh, I don't think I can put anything into the brazier. I, 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 let me get some wood, but I don't think it actually works. Um, where's the brazier? Right there. Uh, so I can't put anything in there. At least no wood. Um, And I don't think you can just light it and it uh, burns infinitely. But we can try. Yeah, I don't think the brazier uh, can burn. So, yeah, doesn't work. So it's just purely decorational. 
I wish uh, it, it, you could use it for uh, um, for for uh, for a heat source. It would be nice. So, but let's see. First, I'm gonna put away all of that. So next, meat. Um, So, okay, got this one, now um, we're gonna make this a hearty one and we're gonna add some uh, uh, ginseng here. So. Um. Okay, let's um, so turn back. We're gonna cook another batch here. Actually, let me, oh no, wait. Um, I'm gonna grab some of the um, uh, here. So. Here. And these in here, so I don't have to use the firewood that much. Um, <laughs> let me put this in here until we get the uh, the food done. So, um, what do I need to do for the antler here? Uh, trophy uh, that was ah here the mount uh, you need leather and four boards so. So, here we go, and the antlers. <laughs> They're tiny, but yeah, it's a start. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna take that chest here with us to the to the dungeon, and let's see what else. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, there are bigger ones. Uh, like uh, here, if you if you look, uh, antler. There are like really, uh, really, really big ones. But yeah, I don't know how um, how easy you can get them. I've never seen them. But uh, each each of the animals has different. I mean, uh, it, okay, may, maybe because this is an elk, and what we were uh, hunting was a moose. Or like there are some fancy ones here from uh, like here. The the moose has different ones, obviously. Um, but there is. Uh, 
like here uh, also for the uh, for the moose la really large ones but i'm assuming maybe you have to uh you you have to domesticate them maybe i don't know if you want to get uh, uh i mean otherwise i can't uh i don't see that they uh are that uh growing that big to be honest because i've never seen any uh, of those that big so um First, this here, then I'm gonna get some more meat here, and another pot of so. With that, we should have enough food for the dungeon. And with our inventory, I'm gonna leave a few things here, so we're not taking uh, more than necessary with us. So I'm gonna leave behind uh, this shovel here, because I have a couple shovels still. Um, I'm gonna leave the... It's one of the, uh, the additional dungeons which is modded. They are they are quite big, so they they can hold a lot of loot. So they have uh, they're not as big as the archive, but they do have uh, yeah they definitely have quite uh, a selection of different loot. So um, how long? Me get some fat here to seal those two. Then, so there we go. And once this one, not sure if this is enough. Once this one is cooked, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely bigger than the tower. They are, they are, the dungeon is underground and uh, consists of multiple chambers, so it's it's definitely something uh, uh, you can spend your time in for a while. I just want to make sure that I have enough food with me, so um, we are on the si safe side in that aspect. So. Once we have this done, we take that with us, and then we have two crock pots full of uh, of very uh, meaty food, which will heal us and uh, fill up the saturation. So, and our protein is also going up. So we just need to get some fruit. Um, we can. I think I have some uh, poultresses up there. Um, my, I mean, this one uh, heals one health point uh, with uh, with eating once. So, but yeah, we we can get some poultresses from the chest. So, just waiting for this here to finish cooking. And then, yeah, we are good to go actually. The armor is also fine uh, because I don't uh, see a reason to repair it just yet. Yeah, I would say we are we are doing okay here. So heals one health. So, okay, then I would say let me mark the, the dungeon here. It's, it's a bit of a way, but uh, we, we should be fine. Uh, commodities, luxury trader. We could 
take some uh, gears with us and then um, if he has anything interesting we can uh, buy something from him. I think I'm gonna do that. Storage master, lumber right. Okay. So, um, no, I don't think the the own. I have one teleporter here close to base, which uh, which takes us, uh, I think here. So, uh, the only option for us is walking. But yeah, I don't know. It's two thousand. Yeah, about two thousand blocks. Or no. Um, yeah, uh, it's about two thousand two hundred blocks. That's we can do that. So we got some gears. We have some healing materials. We have plenty of food with us. And uh, we have a chest with us. I have a fire starter with me in case we, we need one. So I should be fine. So let's go. And yeah, I'm not taking the horse, by the way, because uh, they, ha they are not uh, very obedient at the moment. And they're not stopping if, even if you tell them to, to, to stop. So uh, I think it's still a problem with the AI that uh, the AI is not smart enough yet to uh, uh, really stand still. So. But huh. we have a decent amount of space uh, available, so should be fine. Gonna focus on the, uh, the dungeon uh, first and foremost, so that once we get there, that uh, preferably we we haven't picked up anything else. As you know me, I like picking up things, things I don't actually need at this point, but. Uh, oof. Oh, I'm falling. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, good talk, good talk. Uh, we are not going down there. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even want to go there, but... So, um... I have one extra chest with me, so we're good in that department. This hole I did not expect. So, um, this way. Should take us about ten minutes, I would say, to, to get uh, to the dungeon. Cranberry bush. Poison nope. oak. It's up here quick. So. We have enough food that we can uh, sprint all the all the way. Uh, if we not get stuck. We should be fine. Food. I take food. Food is okay. Oh, 
no. Um, not a blue clay. Sticks? No. Yes, I know I should pick up things, but food is okay. got a quarter of the way done. I like those dungeons because they are very deep underground and they have a lot of loot. Granted, there is always some junk in in the selection, but overall, uh, when I uh, found one in my last playthrough, I was generally happy with the with the selection of loot from the from the dungeon. So we should be. Definitely getting uh, some nice uh, rewards from it. Something is running away from me here. Maybe, maybe a rabbit. Oh, it's one of those. Caribou. But, yeah. oh. so, almost halfway. Good thing when you can sprint, it's not so much of a problem. As we don't run into a bear or uh, a pack of wolves, we should be fine. Halfway. I think we rated this one already. Yeah, yeah, we we rated this one. while since we've been here. I don't know uh, when, when, was the when was the last time, but yeah. it's been a while. Oh, right here. This is where the, uh, the seashells are. Let me mark that. Um, and seashells so, because they take too much space now. Yes, I I was able to hold back. <laughs> the prospect of uh, ooh, ooh. No, marking. There's another a ruin here, or looks like a village. Or, uh, 
Bear, 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 bear. <sighs> I heard it early enough, so <laughs> I got a head start. So, come on. Go up. Okay, uh, yeah, we're getting close. Eight hundred blocks. Yeah, so roughly about ten minutes. I mean, the horse is faster, but due to the the terrain, uh, yeah, the it's just to yeah if there was a, a a street then it would probably be faster but the way it's currently i would probably take longer with the horse because i would constantly get stuck somewhere i picked up, I picked up a stick okay I don't know. I mean, uh, if there is a, the the mod pack with Wildcraft, there are critters uh, with with small birds. So I would say I'm pretty sure it's possible, but that's totally up to the developer. I mean, I would like to see uh, a more diversity in in mobs. Uh, Minecraft has it as well, so it it shouldn't be too difficult to get uh, a flying entity like uh, some birds maybe if they cooperate with the wildcraft mod then they could maybe offer things uh, like sparrows uh, eagles or what, el what else so but yeah I don't know what I have. I haven't seen a roadmap for the game, so where they say what they want to do next. So. That, I mean, that would be interesting if there if there was a roadmap to see uh, what what's next on the agenda. Uh, wolf, 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 wolf. Almost be there. Let me check the map. Yep. Almost there. And let me get some grass here and some uh, wood so we can actually uh, make a fire to, to warm up. Fire. 
up we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, if they have a roadmap, I will have a look and see if uh, we can do something and find out what the plan is. blocks I will throw away again. There are some nor the northern lights. <laughs> oh, um. so, uh. so. Isn't that boring? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, just need to get a bit, bit closer. So, almost there. Once we're there, we can make a nice fire and get ready. There we are. So, uh, what I'm gonna do here quickly is use those blocks here. Since I don't need those blocks anyway. System here to to insulate. So. So, does that register as a house? Not because of the Let's get the temperature first up and then uh, we'll have a look uh, what's next. 
it's going to, we have to go very deep down uh, I think the, the ice uh, blocks do not count as insulation. <sighs> Once we have 37 degrees, we can get ready. I'm gonna get rid of some of the blocks before we go down and and uh, we'll have a look. I mean, there's definitely a saw blade waiting for us at the very beginning. So. And then, yeah, we'll see. So. Yeah, I know, I know, we, uh, we're gonna burn that one as well, but uh, like the ice blocks here and uh, and the snow block I don't need, so um, just gonna place them here outside to uh, get rid of them. So let's go down and see what monstrosities await us. Usually there is a, a, a saw blade uh, in the entrance area. Last time I didn't go all the way down, I think. But I saw the, the saw blade and I said, okay, I know what this is. Maybe this one is going to be better generated than uh, in the previous uh, playthrough. Oh. See, there are a lot of vessels here. Some other things. Oh. Nope. Nope. 
come on. Pit. Yeah, I could have uh, taken torches with me, to be honest. Ah. See the temporal stability is uh, since we are pretty deep down. Mud brick, aged boards. Okay, there's, there's some beds. Nothing. Nothing. Not gonna need the basket here, so uh, yeah. The problem with um, I don't know, it's yeah, I'm probably, probably gonna take one of the beds and bring it upstairs because if I set it here, then uh, I start with uh, no gear. Uh, whoop. Oh, come on. Hit. Where is the spawner? Oh, Terra Preta. Parchment. Empty. Okay, so we're gonna take one of those beds with us. go up there first. There must be a spot. Oh! Even worse. Okay. Is definitely a larger problem. Oh, temporal gear. Who's throwing bricks at me here? Let's go and look for the uh, for the easy things first. What do we have here? Magnetite, seeds, bone meal. Ooh, anthracite. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna take that. Uh, I'm gonna take the um, the vessel.
the wallpaper here? Nah. I'm not gonna take the wallpaper. Anthracite, black coal, brown coal, copper, Ooh, honey sulfur, compost. Ooh. Yep, well, we, I mean, we can make mold racks ourselves, so. Anything interesting in here? No, not really. Bookshelves, there might be something behind it, so I don't want that. that one. Onion, flax seeds, oh, uh, oh, inventory is already full. <laughs> okay, um, let me take this out. We want the compost here. Um, Yeah, the aged board we don't need. Um, come on. Yeah. No, we don't need that. But as you can see, the the dungeon here is very extensive. There. There's probably another spawner here. Yeah, but uh, the uh, they are burned out. They are burned out, so I... Oh, ooh, I didn't see that, thank you. one of those so okay, I would say we're gonna go up quickly get uh, our stuff sorted and then we come back down we haven't uh, checked this uh, here yet and I need uh, to get my uh, temporal stability up again so we're gonna throw some of the items into the, the chest I have here and we'll see I mean there is uh, yeah there is definitely I mean there is uh, a scroll here I haven't checked if the scroll has any lore on it so we'll find it out in a moment and the anthracite is definitely a good find So, what else do we have here? Uh, onions, some cabbage, some flax. We got 12 terra preta, which is nice. The, the compost is definitely nice, uh, even though we're gonna need more uh, high fertility soil if we want to make terra preta. So. Place the chest here uh, quickly. So, um, what, uh, first this and this. Um, the 
the bed we're gonna place. Um, Okay, so we got uh, the respawn point set. Um, so. What else do we have to... Oh, right, those need to be thrown away. So... And this... Okay, so... Um, gonna put the anthracite here. Let me check the lore here. Okay, uh, it doesn't have any lore, so it can stay on the ground. Uh, let me eat something quick. So, next, what else can we put in here? Oh, we got a Jonas part. Then those uh, vessels. Um, the painting. Um, gonna put the food in here as well, and the temper, uh, the rusty gears. Um, we're gonna leave these here. We have the uh, the horse tail portresses with four health points. this here. Yeah, here it's cold here. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Yeah. Come on. I think the coldest I've seen so far in a game was about minus 40. But it was higher up on a mountain. But, yeah. So, the chest here is full. Um, we just... We do have a little bit of space and in inventory left. So, let's go back down and see what we can g gather. Even though, Oh no, we have to wait. Uh, my temporal stability is not uh, not fully done. So um, let me get Build a little uh, storm shelter, which I can seal off, and then maybe we can uh, get uh, the temperature um, and sanity a bit faster uh, sorted. Still going down slowly. Or oh, no, it looks let's see. Um... Uh, yeah, but uh, I don't want to. 
like waste the temporal gear uh, for this. I rather want to see if I can maybe uh, insulate this this place here a bit better. So, if I can insulate that better, then maybe the temporal stability will go up. Okay, we're still not entirely protected. Is that maybe the bony soil? Okay, it's still not... Oh, okay. At least uh, we would get... Okay, um... I should have taken some of the, uh, the firewood with me. Um, okay, let's let's go quickly down. If we really don't get the um, no, hello, go down. Can I grab some of the um, the wood? and light up a larger fire up there. And, yeah, worst case, we really have to uh, use... Um, some firewood. I'm surprised that the temporal stability is going uh, so strong. I mean, we have the uh, forlorn hope set, but that's actually only tier one, so we would really need to make uh, some uh, better armor, so maybe we have to make uh, um, a meteoric iron um, armor tomorrow and uh, see if uh, we can then upgrade to uh, something better. I mean, the forlorn hope set is nice, but it's definitely not the best uh, uh, set. But it's a uh, good starting thing. So, come on. So, there we go. What exactly here is not... Lock that is not insulating. Uh, wait, there was. Uh, no. Oh no, it's uh, something else. Okay, but. Looks like really we have to do the uh, um, oh. there we go. Possible. Um, Let's 
so don't have let's see if we can find some grass outside I think we're gonna find grass here. But uh, let's go down here quickly. want to get my stability a bit up. Something here. I think that's one of those cathedrals. Maybe we get some stability there. Gonna take this one. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Oh, okay. That is. There is a. They have. Three. Oh, there's some more. Okay. Okay, that is interesting. I'm gonna take the obsidian with me. And the uh, temporal stability is going up a bit again. You know what? We're gonna. Uh, it's the last order of business of today's stream. We're gonna take the meteoric iron with us uh, when we go back up to the hill. Yep, it's it's the raft. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, I definitely take the obsidian. Obsidian is very rare, so what else do we have here? Shale cobblestone? No. Yeah, I have to throw away some of those things anyway again. Let's see how many we actually get in the end. many to be honest. 
I thought that they have then at least a few more, just than just uh, one of them. But yeah, I take that. Obsidian cobblestone with them. Damn, here you go. Uh, it's called Vintage Story. It's uh, it's a bit similar to Minecraft, but not the same. It has its own charm. So, so let's see. I think there's probably more here. Uh, yes, it was originally a Minecraft mod, but uh, uh, um, what's its name? The developer uh, Tyrone. Uh, apparently, he wasn't very happy with the limitations of Minecraft, so uh, that's why he then decided to go for a standalone uh, client for the game. So he had more freedom uh, to do what he what he wants. So let's see. I'm gonna get rid of some things here. Don't need this. I'm not gonna take the bony soil with me. Um, brown clay. Uh, no. I'm gonna have to throw that out for now. Uh, the wood spurge. Um, the magnetite. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, this, this, this. Okay. So our temporal stability is back up. So, oh, wait, there's one more. And we're just gonna go back to the. Uh, 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 to the. to the dungeon and then. We're calling it for today, but uh, as I said before, uh, I'm streaming to again tomorrow at the same time. So let's go quick get get some warmth back into those bones, and then uh, we are ready technically for tomorrow to continue. And then we're gonna do we're gonna smith some armor tomorrow. Uh, and do some other things. If you have anything you, what you want me to do tomorrow, you can always tell me in the comments. Oh, come on. Just want to go up there. Blocks here. Hypothermia is no joke. So. Uh, yeah, but uh, so. Yes, 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 yes. Just gonna put those blocks.
blocks away here. Um, let me make a new fireplace. One that is a bit better insulated for for everything. So, uh, and make a fire. And, yeah. So, come on. Warm up. So, should go a bit faster. At least there's no carbon monoxide poisoning. That would be worse. But, yeah, I would say we're doing okay. So, good. Then, I would say that is actually it from my side for today. And if you want to watch again, I'm uh, playing again tomorrow for the people uh, from Twitch now. For those people who watch this on YouTube, uh, you'll have to wait for, for the upload uh, I'm doing tomorrow. So thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye, Fabian.